Hi everyone, welcome back. So I am doing the October challenge for my little scrapbook store, which is the sketch created by T up in the upper left hand corner. Um, in order to join, all you need to do is go to our Facebook page and follow the sketch and enter a layout on, or card um, underneath the sketch and you'll be entered to win um, a $10 gift card. All of the My Little Scrapbook Store stuff is done through uh, random.org, so you have a great chance to win. Um, I would probably not have realized, unless I, except that I watched D do, or D, <laughs> T do the challenge, um, that the background purple is all one piece, and then the blue and the white are two pieces on top of it. And that's how she did the challenge um, when she did it. And I really liked how that worked out. So I'm using this pink and then this teal. I'm using all Brave and Bold uh, from Amy Tangerine. And I will link that um, in the uh, description below. Um, this is a picture from when John and I went to the Big E uh, in uh, Massachusetts. And I am a big fan of fairs. Uh, for the people watching. I, I don't like to do a lot of the other stuff, but I enjoy the people watching and I enjoy the food. And the Big E apparently is like the biggest fair in the country. And I had actually never heard of it. And then I moved here. And then the first year, um, we just didn't have time to go um, when it was here. And then of course, COVID uh, for two years and or for a year, and then we didn't get to go. And so this year, um, we were able to go to the Big E, um, and I just really had a great time. Now, you'll notice that originally I had that strip of paper cut. I had forgotten that from Shadney's Etsy store, and I'll try to link her below as well, I had these fair tickets, and I totally wanted to do that. Um, because this was kind of a fair page, those straight edges were really getting to me, so I decided just to tear those two edges, and I really think that it helps I'm also going to ink up all the paper um, on the edge. Instead of using Distress Oxide, I actually had a Nouveau block just sitting on my desk, and I decided just to try that this time. Um, and so there it is, the Nouveau in uh, like gray, and it works perfectly. So I am inking up the edges and doing that. You'll notice that I took the sketch and flipped it uh, 90 degrees. Um, so that I could um, use this horizontal photo. Um, you can always do that with sketches. Um, even if it's a sketch for a challenge or something, you can always flip the sketch, um, turn the sketch upside down, whatever it is that works for you. Um, don't be afraid to make the sketch work for you. So I um, am using those really cute little fair tickets because I think that went good with the fair. Um, and I'm struggling to put them down correctly, but luckily I have a little bit of flex with my ATG. And so that's the base of my page. You'll see I've followed pretty close to the sketch even though I flipped it. I've got um, the one solid piece in the back um, and then two different pieces and then one going all the way across the top. So um, I think it turns out really well and I'm real happy with um, how that looks. So now I need to do some sort of title and I'm noticing that I don't have enough letters and most of the colors that I have. And because I want to put the title on that bottom that already has all of the different colors, um, I'm just going to add a few stars. So you notice there's stars in the sketch. So I wanted to go ahead and put those stars down. I'm going to pull the Brave and Bold. Now the Brave and Bold thickers came in all these different colors. I want to have the same color. Um, I don't want to have mixed match colors. And I end up being able to do um, fun fair in blue and pink which is kind of if you'll notice the shirts that John and I are wearing that's where I'm pulling all the colors from is these shirts so we ended up um, wearing those shirts that day and it just kind of it was super fun it was bright it was a great day and I did not have a U so I am going to take an O and make it into a U and it's really going to be a struggle for me for a while but eventually I will get it to work. Um, I'm going to start off by just cutting the top. And I don't like how that looks. Um, and you'll see I'll come back and I have cut it some more. And eventually I'm perfectly fine with how the U looks. Um, you can always cut. They're your thickers. Just cut them. It's okay. Um, so here I'm going to come back and I'm going to put it down and say, well, maybe if I did this color. No, I really do want the pink. 
Um, and I'm like, there has to be a way to make this you look better. And I will come back to it and make it look better. So I'm going to use these little, um, I think they're hexagons. One, two, three. Yeah, hexagons. And just stickers. I'm just using up the Brave and Bold set. Um, I basically just putting anything I can find. So they have Weekend Vibes. It has the little ticket stub edges. I think that's great. Um, it has I Love You and then have an eyeball. So it says I Love You. Um, and Brave and Bold. It doesn't really go, but it's cute. Um, I think that sticker says, wow, I know you can't see it great because of the, the lighting. Um, and now I'm going to go back and it, that U is still bothering me. So I am going to just snip it some more and eventually it's going to come back and look like a U. So there you go. And now I feel so much better about it. Um, I really wanted to say fun at the fair and I couldn't, um, but you know, it's okay. Sometimes you just do the titles that you can come up with. Um, I had this old studio um, technique or technique studio or something, um, metal flare, and it was the right color. And I actually had stored it with the um, Brave and Bold because I thought I would use it together. So I'm going to use three pieces of that as well. Um, and that's going to actually go on there. And I'm just using the package to try to figure out which one I want to use. Um, I had a lot of words, which, you know, if you know me, you know, I always have a lot of words, but I was trying to like get away without doing as many words, but this time I ended up putting more of this and then um, magic down there. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the at symbol from this uh, Allie Edwards um, little uh, chipboard set. And it, at least it says fun at fair. And I think that's good. The, the, the is implied. So I'm going to clean up my sticker set here, and then I'm going to try to find something to use for my um, for my journaling. Now, there was one piece of the Brave and Bold paper that was all journaling spots, and I had spent one day watching TV just cutting all those journaling spots out so that I would have them available to use. So I'm going to just walk through those, and it ends up the very first one I pull is the right color, and it has it's the right size, it has the lines, and I'm just going to end up using that one. Um, I thought about trying to make that think happy work, but then I was like, I have so many words already. Um, so, you know, if you have a piece of paper and like, I happen to have two of those papers, so I knew I'd be able to use one of them and just go ahead and pre-cut it up. That way you've got the journaling spots ready to go. So I'm not going to wait, watch you make, watch, make you make, watch me journal. So there's the journaling. Um, I hope you enjoyed this page, and like I said, go over to the Facebook group and do a, do a layout for the sketch, and if you enjoyed this, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. Talk to you next time.